Hello and welcome to Matt's Garage. A lot of progress on the shed uh, build since the last video. Let me show you what's been done. You can see right here that uh, I have completed the, the roof framing, including uh, all of the, the, the gable walls. So they're looking pretty good. I've got all of the collar ties in place. Uh, I did them on every other uh, rafter set. They only need to be every 48 inches. Uh, and then you see I'll, I also have the rafter ties, which, you know, you could call them ceiling joists if you like. Uh, but they're essentially rafter ties. I have most of the, uh, the hurricane ties in place. I'm just using the Simpson uh, H2.5AZs. Uh, uh, they technically are... Uh, you know, symmetrical. Uh, so on this side, uh, they go in like that. On the other side, they kind of go in backwards. It, it's fine, you know, for a shed. Um, you can put them on the outside, but I don't really want uh, something with, you know, metal and nail heads uh, bumping out into my sheathing. Uh, but I'm not uh, concerned. If, you know, if a hurricane wants to take my roof off here, then uh, it's, it's welcome to. I don't really think that's gonna happen. Um, so the gable walls uh, came out reasonably well. Uh, my next step is going to be, uh, I'm gonna sheath up uh, th these areas uh, on both ends of the gable wall. Uh, and then I'm going uh, to tackle the, uh, the, the, the subfascia and the rakes. Uh, and then I'll be ready to put, uh, put some roofing on. A really good project uh, so far, a lot of fun, uh, learned a lot and uh you know was able to to overcome most of the challenges that uh, that i came across so uh pretty happy with it so far you can see right there my uh, rafter tails they're pretty close I, I might have to uh in fact i'll almost certainly uh chalk a line i want them all to be two inches it's going to be a very uh, very modest uh overhang in the front and the back uh, i think it's going to total uh three and a half three and a half inches uh, three and a half or four inches um, so that'll be pretty, uh, pretty simple. The, the rake board, because of that, is going to be uh, two two by sixes and uh, a section of uh, half inch plywood sandwich in between. It'll essentially be header, uh, header stock. Um, so a little bit easier to build and install than a, than a typical uh, ladder. Uh, I am going to install the uh, the subfascia. Uh, long in the front and the back by about uh, six inches uh, and then I'll then I'll cut it back to, to final size once I get the 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 rake uh, the rakes in place uh, I think that's easier than sort of trying to get the measurement exactly right when you're installing the fascia board just leave it long uh, and then get up there with the circular saw mark the line and do the do the four plumb cuts on each corner uh, so Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, use your favorite power tool to hit that notification button. Um, again, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with, uh, with the progress so far. Um, really think that, uh, that it's coming along well. Getting pretty cold out here in the Boston area. It's 22 degrees today, so uh, I will be jumping back into the, into the garage, which is nice and heated uh, from time to time to, to, to warm up. Um, and uh, I appreciate your uh, support. We're actually very close to 100 subscribers, which uh, is is pretty cool. I guess all of the big YouTube content creators, you know, had 100 subscribers at some point in their their life. So I really appreciate your support uh, of the channel. Uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.